Red FM. Radio has never been better. It is us. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it is us. So you're starting with the new thing. I'm uh, starting with it is us. The different thing. Let the what was it? You know, this is a problem because <laughs> every time we edit the show, like we line all the clips up with What's up? The game is a foot, Ryan. The game is a foot. The game is a foot. The game is a foot. Yes. If you're wondering what the hell we are doing, we are doing lines from Enola Holmes 2. Why did I not hear that? You didn't hear that? No. You didn't hear that? The game is a foot. The game is a foot. I think it was the game. No, it definitely was the game. The game is a foot. She said it in both. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So, this is the movie show. It's coming back to me slowly but surely. <laughs> I'm Sash. My name is Ryan. And we are reviewing Enola Holmes 2. And we no longer have something to line the clips up with. What's up? There you go. <laughs> okay, that's not where you started, by the way. It's fine. You can line that part up and then go back, you know? Yeah. No? All uh, right. Just drag. If you put the mouse. Oh, no. But fit a little bit. Yeah, there. You see how the mouse. Ch- yeah. So if you're not into film, you're like, what are they talking about? So whenever movie people <laughs> film, right? That was a very odd sentence. They always have this little like black and white thing that they do this with called a clapper. Right. The reason they have the clapper board is for two reasons. Number one, first reason is so that the camera, the beginning, the thumbnail of the the the, fit, the footage, they can see. Oh, mm-hmm. this is close up of Ryan mm. movie show take one. Mm. Right. Secondly, when they clap it, it's so that they can line up the camera audio mm-hmm. with the mic audio mm-hmm. with the other boom. So whenever there's different audio forms or play, they can add, they can line them up in their editing software, yeah. and then it's easy. Then you don't have lip sync out yes. instead you can it's see my mouth and my audio uh, are moving at the same time <laughs> that's when ryan takes it out <laughs> just for uh, fun <laughs> except my bluetooth headphones are slightly, slightly out delayed, so it's i have problem. to take that into consideration there we go so that's what ryan was talking yes. about with the what's up so now you know ryan's trick that's how he lines up the movie show it's, but anyway it's, it's the first line of the movie show what's up that's it there we go so yeah so next week i'm gonna say it really softly I'm I'm clapping next week. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So, Nota Holmes Two is a 2022 film. Mm-hmm. It is a mystery crime, and it is two hours and nine minutes long. I think the first one was it was either two hours and three minutes or two hours and seven minutes. I cannot remember. So they just like just, just went like a few minutes a over. Yeah. yeah. Director is still Harry Bradbeer. He has continued to direct it. If it was any other way, it would be weird. It really would. Mm. Can I be honest? I think I said this last week actually. I, I should be honest in the movie show, you know. I should stop asking if I could be <laughs> honest and just, just be honest. Be honest. <laughs> the first time I watched Enola Holmes 1, uh, I did say this last week. Enola Holmes 1 was like, Nyeh. like, you know, it was an okay movie. Mm. Preferred Stranger Things to like, yeah, for me, Enola Holmes was, yeah. But this one, I absolutely loved. And I think the reason I loved it was because they brought more of Sherlock Holmes and that whole world yeah. into it. So not just necessarily more of Sherlock Holmes, but I now felt like I was watching Enola Holmes' younger sister. I mean, mm. Sherlock Holmes' younger sister, sorry. Yeah. not So mm. the previous one, I was like, I don't know what's what's going on mm. here. Yeah. Whereas this one, they obviously, um, Detective Lestrade, he was he was in the first one though as Sam well. Sam Cl- Clef- Cleflin. Sam Cleflin yeah. wasn't in this one. Yeah. He, he plays Sherlock Holmes's brother. That's right. Yes. Um. Personally, I don't like him. Not Sam Cleflin. I like Sam Cleflin because he's a very good actor, but I didn't mm. like the character. Mycroft's character. He yeah. was yeah. He was ugly in the yeah. first one. Yeah. But he actually wasn't able to be in this one mm. due to scheduling, scheduling conflicts. Conflict. So the director actually did want him mm. in, but he wasn't able to be in. But as a result, a lot more of Sherlock was shown. They could focus and I more loved in. I loved how they focused yeah. on Sherlock. Mm. Because in order for you to have the story of Sherlock Holmes, you have to have you Sherlock know, Holmes. like the last time he didn't, he barely did the this deduction seemed, thing. Yeah, yeah, this definitely, especially the way that they looked at clues together. Yeah. That's what I enjoyed the part. Oh, look, brother and sister, yeah. look at them and they're spotting clues and stuff. And there's even some uh, comical parts in it where like she takes a bit longer. And she she like, finds like the paper. Yes. She finally figures out the dress. He just has one look at it and then he like says the dress. And She's it's like, like really? <laughs> <laughs> Took you that yeah. long? But just seeing them together and they figure out clues yeah. and you see how they're like digging it. And it's even got that whole Sherlock Holmes 
field, field yes. where it's like moving over like micro like shots of like little bits of hair and yes and then they're like working out everything together and so that 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 was yes and one big thing we we can't take this away from the character of sherlock holmes is sherlock holmes is he, he's a genius but he's also an addict do you understand what i'm saying so in the first yeah. enola holmes like Henry Cavill was so prim and proper. Like Even he was almost, was bad. yeah, he was almost more proper yeah. than than Mycroft, which doesn't mm. make sense because Mycroft. Do you know that Mycroft's character is the weirdest thing? Mycroft's character literally spends most of his day in it's like a lounge, but it's called the Silent Lounge. Literally, like I know when I watched um, the Sherlock Holmes series with Benedict Cumberbatch, they they showed that that whole se- so like that that's who my so even though apparently Mycroft is more of a genius than Sherlock, but he doesn't like getting his hands dirty and going out in the world. So that's why Sherlock is seen as the better detective. What does he do? Does he also do like detective work? He's able. So he's mm. also basically like this genius. Mm. The, he's yeah, and he's able to figure things out. You- yeah. You kind of see it in this one in the mother as well. How, yes. where, like, where the genes come you from. Know, yeah. Because she's also like that. She was a lot like that in the last one as well. Mm. I remember because she left the clues for Enola but and I, gave her the flower book. I liked in this one where they're in, like, that carriage and then she's asking yes. questions and she's saying, no, it's this and that. Okay. Yeah. Did the, no, 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 okay. Well, then it's, and you can yes. see how her now, how her detective brain is working. Yeah. So I was just like, oh, that, that's where all of this comes from. But also, I I love that. The, I don't know why I love this so much, but I love that the first scene that Sherlock shows up in this film, he's drunk, because that is who Sherlock Holmes yeah, is. Right. And then she has to drag him home. And he's even got like his fringe hanging yes. in front of his and face. And what was funny was I don't. I can't remember now if this made the final take, but I remember mm. seeing B-roll footage where he did a lot of improv when he was drunk, and she called a cab, and he was like, "What." They're now using crabs as transportation in London. He's like, that doesn't look like a, ca- a crab. They're <laughs> and literally, he was cracking Billy Bobby Brown up. She, there was, I think, the amount of times they did that because he yeah. would say something and, and she, she couldn't hold herself. But I think I mm. really enjoyed that they brought in. And then plus they brought in um, Moriarty, who's Moriarty. like, you can't have Sherlock Holmes without Moriarty. Like, he is, he is Sherlock Holmes bad side so like if uh, if he's as genius as sherlock Ho- sherlock holmes but he's yeah he's a psychopath that one and then they're also where do we know him from moriarty yeah the character yeah n- no the Mo- no moriarty the was the no there was the female the chick played moriarty uh, in this one they changed so normally moriarty is is, is wait, played wait, by wait, a male wait. but here her name her name was what T- what something troy mira troy or something like that yeah, no, but yeah. that character, can I be honest, that character, I need to stop saying that. Can The character, Moriarty, yes. is the freakiest character ever created, in my oh, opinion. Yes, okay. I've never, Wait, ever felt as unsafe. Was this the woman, the... Like so the first time I experienced the person, it, like yes, the, the, it was the, the, her. But okay. the first time I experienced it was when watching the 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 series with Benedict Cumberbatch. That guy freaked me out. Like he he literally, you know, when you feel and you you mm. feel you don't feel safe, even though you are not there. You like th- that was the first time I experienced mm. that with a, a a character. And the moment in this one when I clicked that this chick was Moriarty, Sunny, I was just like, oh my goodness! Like that same At feeling. Okay, so obviously it was at the end when um they they're all on the stage and then so was that only when you clicked uh, that's i think that's, that's basically when she she like reveal yeah. reveals it yeah but also when like sherlock figures out that moriarty's the one that's been sending him the the messages mm. yes and then also i did you see the post or the in I, no it was it was a middle in middle credit scene yes did you see it yes where they introduce watson oh no. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yes. Yes, yes. 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 I think that's why I love yeah. this so much. Is because you we got um obviously the Strad was there the last time, mm. but we got Moriarty, we got Watson, and we saw a lot more of Sherlock. So I think that's why I really, really enjoyed this one. Was for that reason. And then obviously, okay, I've just clicked who he is. All right. Watson. Cool. Yes. yes. Who Watson is. He's so. Oh, cool. So they've really set it up for mm. another one. And personally, mm. I'm looking more forward to the third film mm. than I was to the second film. Mm. Like I actually am looking more forward to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, quite interesting enough is that already. So September 2020 was when the first one was released. was released. Um, 
and already then there was a whole discussion about the se- the, the sequel to it. Mm. Uh, by April 2021, the story was already in development, so it it was just immediately like, yeah. wow, you know, they no major big gap, you know, between filming or between releases. Uh, they actually got 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 the next one out quite quickly as you'll well. probably find they'll also st- get moving on the next run because the reviews for the second I'm one not have surprised been amazing if they're probably yeah. already doing whatever yeah. script write meetings or yeah already look we don't have anything reviews. else sherlock sherlocky mm. at the moment mm. so like obviously the better did cumberbatch series is gone that finished Sh- uh, the one with Robert Downey Jr. I don't. They were supposed to make a third film, but I, I don't think they're going to anymore. So at the moment, there's nothing with the show. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sure like he, this is all we've got. Yeah, yeah. Not that I'm not saying that this mm. is all we've got. It's a it's a very good mm. you know representation. But well, well, I mean they did very well because even the so Enola Holmes two uh, was when that was released. That was also so exactly like the first one. Uh, it, it like hit like many many hours like like a t- like a lot of people watched it like within the first week uh, even with this one now um, it hit number one on Netflix global uh, weekly viewership with 64 million hours streamed across 93 countries yeah uh, yeah within the first week then the next week the film stayed at number one sure. with 62 million hours so like other people were watching it again or well, they, they had watch- another yeah. 63 w- watching and then, uh, yeah, so, uh, I mean, sure. You can already tell that there's that there's a huge viewership for it. Yeah. Now, imagine when they bring out the third, the one, third one. Because yeah. what's nice is that between the first one and the second one, I mean, like we've, we've already spoken about, is that it's, it doesn't feel like it's a continuation. Well, it, the, even though it is a continuation, but they, they've added more onto it. Yeah. So it, and it's like one of the things that I know uh, they spoke about um, was in the first one, it was just uh, Ilona Holmes by herself. Mm. And this one now became more like a we, you know, th- th- there yeah. were more people involved. So it. it in fact, that's what she was struggling with, was yeah. not being by herself. And, and that was a lot around the discussion because if you know Sherlock Holmes, the character himself, uh, he likes to work by himself. Yeah. He doesn't want to be around these idiots, you know. Oh, Lord, spare me from this idiot, you know. <laughs> uh, he likes to do... And then eventually, like, he finally admits. But then also in the end, uh, I love the whole play, the way it was like, you know, if I join you, then this will happen. But okay, fine, I'll come around. And then there rocks up Watson. Watson, yeah. So Which she obviously met Watson and yes. then sent Watson. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, it's it's each film has got its box of surprises. So. Yeah. Um, also, so the, the the previous film was based on the whole the the missing Mar- Mark Marcus, yeah. which was obviously Lord Tewksbury, and that is actually from a novel. Whereas this one, the second one, the story is not actually based on any novel, but instead it's based on the real historical 1888 match girls strike and the life of labor activist Sarah Chapman so the character Sarah Chapman is she's real she actually existed and they Mm. show her picture at the end Mm. of the film and the director thought it was an inspiring um, female uh, story and that she was an inspiring female symbol and wanted to to obviously bring that in and it was very interesting because so in the film, Enola investigates um, and then reveals that the match girls, which actually happened, were dying from typhus. So they, they claimed that typhus was going around and that as a result, all of these match girls were dying when actually they were dying because they were working with the white uh, phosphorus in the matches, which they'd changed to because it was cheaper than I think the red. That's right. But as a, as a result, so now the real condition is known as fossy jaw. So that's it. Mm. I don't know if you even saw in the film there was that one that one girl that was one turned girl away. Was swollen. Yes, and her jaw was swollen. What are you looking at? Yes, and then yeah. they were like, "No, sorry, you have typhus," but it wasn't actually typhus. So what actually happens is the corrosive mm. nature of the phosphorus they worked with. They would breathe it in day after day, and as a result, their first their teeth and then their jaw bones would slowly decay. Ow. And even once the connect, this is terrible. Even though the connection was made between that the Fossy jaw syndrome and the the white phosphorus. It still took decades for the white phosphorus to be banned. Like how how terrible is that? Like what the hell's wrong with humanity? Yeah. And then unlike the first Dinota Holmes film, um, which was based on the 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 missing case, uh, the the case of the missing Mar- Marcus. This one is not a Nancy Springer mm. film adaptation. 
it is based on the the match the match goal Which strike. Is good. Yeah, I like what they've done. Yeah, it was nice. That's very cool. So because they've shown history, but yeah. they've just added, they've fictionalized they put it. put on the detective part of it. Yes. Yeah. They've almost done what Quentin Tarantino did in uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, where he, he told the, the story of Sharon Tate. Mm. Um, obviously, though, he changed it because she it did die. In his film, she didn't die. But they've, she's, they, they, they fiction, he kind of fictionalized mm. a historical what event. If, what yeah. if this were to happen? Yeah, so they, and I think what, I mean, Sarah Chapman was mm. very instrumental yeah. in in bringing her. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. So and obviously Nola wasn't there, but yeah, so, yeah, because in this film she goes missing. Yeah. <laughs> huh? When did you click? Just that think about that. Someone in history goes missing, like someone, a real person that really happened. Like this whole history happened. There's like a, a historical event, and they're like, ah, oh, what if we take, and they go missing, <laughs> and then they have to find, they have to find. I wonder her. if she did go missing. No, we uh, actually don't know what the actual story don't is. Don't know, but but uh, d- when did you click that? I can't remember what her name was before. Yeah. You know, you know that the, the character she was in disguise. On, yes. When did you click that was her? In my mind, uh, when I saw her, I'm like, isn't that her? Yeah, but but then she would point her out. And they haven't, so obviously. Not. So when they did, I was like, "Ah, oh, oh, okay. oh, it was her." Oh, I thought so. I like how they did that transition between when when they reveal it is her. That transition between the paint because you know they were they she did was the drawing, paintings quite yeah, often. the painting and the drawings, yeah. and then they they transitioned to the actual footage. Mm. That was very cool. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then obviously they had the the usual fourth wall breaks once again, <laughs> which was very cool. I was disappointed that yeah. she didn't join Sherlock. She was like, "If I join you, then I'll always I'll be, be in your shadow." Yeah. I was like, "No, <laughs> mm. if you join him, then you take over." You know. So she, this is the the Spider Man three thing. You know, you, you just you can't have them two working because Sherlock works alone, and then the Watson and Sherlock thing happens. But he doesn't work alone because he has Watson. Yeah, Sherlock and Watson, although we like Watson, so you know what, it's fine. Exactly. But then, then Watson wouldn't have come I mean, about. I mean, what what good characteristics did Watson have? He was dependable. No, Watson was a doctor, first of mm. all. He was a doctor. So there was often, I mean, I think, in, I remember, I'm sure there was one episode in the series I'm talking about now where Sherlock was dying. Or something. You see? And yeah, so he's so a doctor. Well Plus he learns how to do, he started learning the whole deduction thing. So he would, he would, because obviously if you're around Sherlock Holmes and he's constantly deducing situations, mm. you'd start picking that up. Mm. So two detectives together, they would freak each other out. I we're think now, so, yeah. now you've got a doctor and a detective. Yeah. So they. And I love the fact that, I don't know the, ca- the actor's name, but he was from yesterday. That that is playing Watson. The, yeah, that yeah. guy. Can I just say mm. the cast? I must say they've mm. got a phenomenal cast. Henry Cavill does a brilliant job. Millie Bobby Brown is very good. Louis Partridge, obviously, he's fairly new, and um, Enola Holmes is what kind of jump started his career. But he did a very good job. Yeah. Um, Helena Bo- Boneham Carter is she's such a brilliant actor. I actually have so much respect for her as an actress. She's brilliant. Um, who else did they have in? I don't know. They're all like new faces to me, except for the odd one or two. But they do have a very, mm. a very strong cast. Which is nice. Yeah. I like new faces. It just brings the storyline a, mm. a lot stronger through than having, you know, oh look, there's um, Superman. And I think there's a. I think Henry D- Cavill's doing another Superman. Is it? Mm. I don't because I saw I saw uh, a, a a morning. The morning show? Is it the morning? I think mm. it's the morning show. A morning show. And they were asking him about how does he feel returning to the cape uh, or returning or putting the cape back on. Mm. And he was like, yeah, no, I love it because it was my first mm. big break. And uh, yeah, so I think he's returning. I think I was just always used to him as Spider-Man. And then seeing this now, you're like, Sherlock. I think there are talks that he might be the next James Bond. No, we'll see about that. What do you mean? Uh, well, you know, next will be Luther, <laughs> you know, or Mark. Mark and Luther. Mark and Luther. The detectives, because 007 are not allowing him to oh, go there we go. get on board. So Yeah. So, well, ha- mm. That would be funny. Sherlock Holmes is now 007. <laughs> I quit <laughs> my job there, detective. <laughs> <laughs> he had a drinking and problem, so they action. kicked him out of MI6 or yeah. MI5, whichever one yeah. it is, and then yeah. sent him to... Yeah. Mm. But it's a very good film. Go watch it in Ola mm. Holmes 2. Yeah. And this has been the movie show. And next week we'll be doing... Sh- Something, something fun. Yeah, we'll wait for number three.
We'll wait for number. <laughs> there will be no movie show until number. Th- no, I'm joking. I'm joking. We cannot wait that long for another movie we'll show. Put other people, yeah. <laughs> no, as in the movie show goes on yeah. pause. No, yeah. that's not happening. <laughs> that's, we are not doing that. <laughs> I will go on strike. But, and by strike, I mean I will be here recording the movie show. <laughs> yeah, so we will see you next week. Until Peace. then, cheers. Yeah.